Hello, everybody, and hello, Dave. Hi, everyone. Hi, guys. How are you? So, um, as you know, this Am is... Am I in frame? You're not, but this is... What am I? This is <laughs> starring Nicola and Chris Fisher, RPT. And this week, our guest is Maple, Maple Tree Studios, and it's episode 28. Welcome, so welcome, man. Dale. Thank you so much for being Thank with us. So much for me. Me. Come on, guys. It's been great. Seeing <laughs> 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 who's on the chat. So we've got the Flaming Turner. We've got Stace Makes. Wayne the Wood Turner. Hi guys. Um, T plus G making. Mm -hmm. Debbie Beardall. Andy Pugh. Uh, Clive Farrant. Uh, Christine and Michael Hesseltine. Hello. Um, Steve Twydell. Leona Fay. Uh, Blue Light Turner creating shaving hey. since 2016. Hope um, you're feeling better, Scott. Yeah, yes, I think that's everybody on the chat. So thank you for being with us. So we're delighted to have Dale with us today, and we've been chatting. And I've also we've had a giggle. Haven't we? we have. I've also got a bit of a blurb. So um, oh, don't we, read the blurb. Don't read the blurb. <laughs> so you sort of um, <laughs> you do sort of forty percent lathe and yeah. 50% you've been doing scroll sawing and Recently, other, yeah. Yeah. other stuff. So you're doing yeah. a lot of different making. And mm. you said that um, you do, you've you been a builder pretty much all your life and yeah. you've wood, electronics, brick, stone, metal, plastic. But it yeah. was relatively recent. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we only, I only kind of got into, to, I mean, it was one of those things when it was, we're, so we've been building the house for like years and years and years. Like I said earlier on, it's kind of, it's one of those things that all we needed is, it's been such a project. All we needed was Kevin McLeod to come along kind of thing. Every, every Christmas and he's scratching his, he's scratching his chin going, oh, I don't think they'll be in, I don't think they'll be in for Christmas kind of thing. And we'd blown the budget more times than we can wave a stick at. Um, Sorry, sorry, Dale, but you're not a builder, are you? When no, no, old... not a builder. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Maker would be the old, would be the term yeah, we'd use yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. but um, um, so some of the furniture in the house, well, in fact, just about all the woodwork in the house I've done, so the flat work in the house I've done, mm -hmm. I've kind of done that more or less all my life. Um, um, and what I wanted to do was make some stools and things for the for the kitchen. Um, um, and there's a couple of different ways you can do that. Be you know, you kind of get into the right. What I need here is a lathe. What I, what I need here is a lathe. That's that's the ticket for me. So, off you mm -hmm. go down to setting bone, kind of thing, and you stand there, and a nice man convinces you that this is what you want. Before you know where you are, you're eight hundred, nine hundred pounds later. As I'm sure we've all got this story to tell at some point. Um, and that was that. That was kind of just before Christmas last year, kind of thing from the turning perspective. And uh, uh, and yeah. Um, and then, then, then what you do is you kind of you've unlocked the demon, you know, the genie's out of the bottle, and, yeah. and and hours and hours and hours disappear, and you stop doing all those things you'd promised the boss that you would do, sort of thing. And yeah. She's getting cross. Um, so yeah, so turning was quite new. Um, um, what is it I, about turning that you really like? So I mean, like I, I guess my my uh, uh, so I mean I kind of I've. I'm kind of um and I mean I'm in IT. I, I was writing software when I was ten, and that was <laughs> forty years ago. Um um, I, so I kind of live in that digital world all the time. Um um, walk it, talk it, eat it, sleep it, and I can I can I can make the I can make the bet stands to to whatever tune I want them to do. Um um. But you can always undo, rewind, recut, rebuild, put it back in, try again, and muck around and keep doing it until you get it right. So there's there's no need to be absolutely 100% first time. Mm -hmm. But with the lathe, the lathe, yeah. on the other hand, it's kind of you, the machine, the tool. Mm -hmm. And that's very intoxicating because this, this, it's like, I mean, I'm doing the whole hand gestures here. Um, um, I should get a tool. No. Uh, <laughs> um, um, it's kind of intoxicating because you, you're creating something in real time. You're creating something right yeah. there and then, mm -hmm. um, and that's very, that's really, 
that's 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 very 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 addictive particularly yeah. after you've had three months of creating catastrophes and slowly but surely stuff that you want to use and stuff that you want to keep starts to emerge you know mm. not a not a not a gentleman of 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 your caliber behind the lathe or steve twydale or wayne clasper by any measure but it's a lot of fun you can pour mm. hours into this thing yeah um, i thoroughly enjoy it and even though obviously you know we've all got modern lathes you know uh what you were just describing there almost sounded quite a primal experience mm. you know it's like you know you've got dale there and he's got his because the way you describe it i was thinking <laughs> Quite primal. Well, shall I tell you what Steve Twydell said? He thinks he looks like Frank Spencer. Why? Because he's got a hat on. It's because it's raining outside and it's cold in here and I'm bald. <laughs> that's what I've got one on. We'll, well, have, we'll have words, Mr. Twydell, Twydell when we finish. <laughs> he kind of looks a bit like a beret. It's a flat cap backwards, mate. That's oh, right. what it is. Okay, it's a flat cap <laughs> backwards. <laughs> Well, that, that that is not very primal. But... No, no, it's a it's a keep the sawdust off your head, keep the yeah. rain off your bald spot. That's what we're talking about here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it did come across as yeah. you know, you know, you're there, you've got your machine, you've got your wood, you've got your tool, and like you just did, you know, ooh, 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 <laughs> yeah, you, know, more, you know, let's call let's call it digital Dale. Yeah, you're there going beep bop boop boop beep bop 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 bop. I'm gonna. That's gonna. That's you. You've no, people are gonna remember that. I'm gonna get a pest taken out forever. <laughs> you're in the workshop, you've got your loincloth on in your, you know, with my hat got, with my hat on backwards with my hat on you, backwards. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So you you know your drag coefficient is improved because your hat's on backwards. Yeah, yeah. So you know. Well, do you know what I think it is about making though? It's the fact that you do something. And you have something at the end of it, whatever it is. I mean, I love doing stuff. Good or bad. You've yeah, got yeah. At the end you know, of like it. You, you can go on these workshops and it's like, come on this workshop and make, like we went and made a bowl at the clay place. And, you know, we might never go and do anything out of clay again, but it was the fact that we both came home, well, a couple of weeks afterwards with the finished bowl. And it's like, we, we made these and, I think there's Absolutely. something to that as well that mm. you know it's creating something. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Messing yeah. around, you know, yeah. in a uh, a pottery workshop, wasn't yeah, it? And, yeah. You know, we did for our first bowl. We formed it, you know, over a wooden farm. But next time we we'll go, we'll get on the wheel. But yeah, Dale, Dale definitely did sound like uh, he really enjoyed. <laughs> Uh, such a difference you... such a difference i mean you kind of enjoy it when you're doing the building but it was just it was just watching the form emerging you know mm -hmm. by that point i'd cry tried to create a whole bunch of forms prior to that but you know you be all of a sudden you're getting getting uh uh, uh it's just it's just it was just it was so satisfying you feel like a nine-year-old or a kid going into your mom and saying look what i made um, yeah. um it's um, exactly that yeah yeah. You know, um, yeah. and in a day in a day job, you're you're talking about you know, I mean, doing you know, data analysis and artificial intelligence in your day job, and but the thing that the thing that made you happy all weekend was oh, look at the ball. <laughs> and you know what? That never changes. When you make oh. something, I bring it in. What do you think about that, Nicola? What do you think about that? It's partly because I can't see what it looks like, so she can yeah, quality control and go yeah like that. And when it's sort of like proof of concept, I'm trying something new. Uh, but yeah, it's still like look, look, and it's like when Bamba, you know, goes when you come in from outside, and Bamba brings a toy for you. Look, Dad, look what I've got. Look what I've killed. It's <laughs> almost like that. Yeah, definitely prime. Yeah, look at this piece of wood I've just got on the lathe. So, when you're turning, how many Jaffa cakes do you eat? What? So, 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 there's a lot of there's a lot of stories about me and Jaffa cakes, and unfortunately, they're all true. <laughs> <laughs> No Jaffa cakes, no Jaffa cakes in the workshop, sadly. So there's frequent trips made to the kitchen where they're rationed. Mm -hmm. um, they're rationed now down to 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 whatever I go and buy, more or less, because uh, mm -hmm. she won't buy any anymore. So I think I don't know. Uh, 
I think in a, a makers, I think a, in a makers international, I think we're a box, a makers international. I think, um, I think, I think there was one one particular. I don't remember. I seem to recall it being it was either a, the Flaming Turners live or it might have been Steve Twydell. Um, where I think I demolished two boxes. <laughs> they're just a, they're hideously addicted, addictive. They're just too small, too soft. Leona yeah. doesn't like them, so you know. I mean, if you're listening to Leona, she doesn't like them. Right now, she'll be gagging. Today, <laughs> just so I could measure them for something I'm making, Dale. All right. <laughs> But yeah, it's become something of a thing, which wasn't intentional. It was just like, what's everyone eating? Oh, I'm having Jaffa cakes. And then it becomes a thing. Yeah. Well, as, these things do, as these things do. Bond has arrived since he's heard us talking about Jaffa cakes. Oh, it's just, they're just, they're just, they're just the best. They're just the best kind of thing. I think, I remember, that, that, I think, I think, uh, I think I owe a whole bunch of people boxes of Jaffa cakes. I think, I think, uh, Wayne, Wayne, uh, the Bigfoot Workshop. He's 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 got a specific order and for a specific kind that I've got to remember when we go up to Harrogate for the show up there. I've got mm. to land them all on him and Glenn from uh, uh, Yorkshire Grit. He's got an order in too for them. It's just it's become mad. I'm going to be poor by the end of that trip. I can just feel it. <laughs> Not for buying tools either. <laughs> well, well uh, swing by the Tormex stand and uh, uh -huh. and. Uh, yeah, bring a couple of Jaffa cakes. All oh, right, we've got it. So we've got it. Sorry, you too. Oh, God, right. Let me get a list. <laughs> I, I, I'm only joking. It sounds like you've got enough <laughs> Jaffa cake dispensing to do. It's yeah. All right. Well, uh, Wayne the Woodturner says, I bought you three boxes today. I'm going, I'm going up. I'm going up north to my brother's just. Uh, my brother's just bought a house up north. I'm going up to help him do some some of the electrical work in it. And I promise I'd swing by. That should probably keep me going for about an hour, Wayne. Thank you. <laughs> so um, we've talked a bit about why do you make? Mm. Are there any other elements of making that we've not talked about? That sort of so, why why you actually want to make? Um, I guess I mean we come back to that sort of I mean it's 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 I don't know it's I mean for me it's uh, it's like I guess like many folks in the community I think it's like I need to have achieved something every day um, I need to have learned something or made something or 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 you know it's like some strange addiction some undiagnosed illness or something you know I uh, got to do a thing syndrome. <laughs> I don't know, um, but if there is, I've definitely got a chronic case. I'm, 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 you know, I mean, I need to be on lifelong medication of doing stuff. Or yeah. if I haven't done something before the end of the day, or achieved something by the end of the day, even if it's just minor, so I can say that's what I did. Um, yeah. And making definitely meets that addiction kind of full on, I guess. Mm. Um, um, you know, it's, it's 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 stood me in good stead in my career. Uh, it stood me in good stead, you know. I mean, from we to build the house, and it's certainly keeping me out of mischief and out of the pub um, um, at the weekends now, kind of thing. When I'm, I'm doing it for this and, and doing the stuff on Instagram and, and YouTube, so yeah, definitely. I think, I think, I, I think that's an answer, is it? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I completely understand that. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, you know, loads of people in the maker community, and I think you know, there's a lot on the chat tonight. Um, and judging from some of the comments, they know quite a bit about you. It's so all what, it's all lies. Trust me, it's all lies. <laughs> what does the maker community give you? What's what has changed for you since you became um, involved? Mostly stickers. No, um, seriously. <laughs> um, I guess. Um, I mean, I kind of work. We talk as we were talking before we come into the the live. Kind of lived around the world a bit. Lived in China and lived in the US for a while. Um, and kind of dotted around the UK, and you never, you never quite put roots down when your kind of work's taking you places. Mm -hmm. um, um, what the, what the, 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 the. Hello, this is really good. This, thank you so much. Thank you, <laughs> Mrs. Say hello. <laughs> Uh, top up. <clears throat> uh, this one might have whiskey. No, we're all good as tea. Um, um, listen, listen, Dale. If you want to have a wee dram, oh, not right now, kind of thing. I've got. I need a stockpile built up for next year. Wayne's coming down for to do a show at East Surrey. 
Right. Um, um, I can't. I don't know what the order is. I think you're first, and then it's either the following month or the month after. It's Wayne. Right. He's coming down. He's coming down. We're gonna. He's gonna. I'm gonna give him the key to the whiskey cabinet, but I'll need to fill it up first. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Um, 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 and then I need to take it off him the night before he goes to do the demo, just in case. Um, <laughs> yeah, no um, I'm not. I'm not being funny, but I've just got this really nice urge now to go to the shop when this is finished and get half a bottle of whiskey. Dude, get <laughs> Talisker, mate. Get Talisker. Single malt. Get a nice, nice ten-year-old or twelve-year-old Talisker. Awesome, my favourite. Yeah. Trust I me. I don't. I don't think they sell it at the co-op, but they will. They will. Trust <laughs> me. They will. All right, okay. They will, trust me. It's good stuff. Um, don't get Johnny Walker, but that's another conversation. Um, <laughs> um, um, where was I? Yeah, so we never really put down roots. And mm -hmm. the maker community is quite cool because it's like all of a sudden you've got this kind of virtual community around about you. Yeah. Um, you're starting to know people and you get to understand what makes them tick. And to be fair, I've never encountered a group of people really outside of outside of, of IT or outside of the, the, the stuff I do digitally um um that gets <laughs> that exactly right Be, but well, yeah you said that i didn't anyway <laughs> that gets that whole um i need to make a thing i need to yeah. do a thing um um some folk in the, in the community are just incredible the the the, the, the talent and the and the and the drive to make mm -hmm. um and others are and others you just sit in awe of um and then there's other folk who feel who feel um kind of like they're on the journey with you but everybody's so friendly and everybody wants to help and everybody wants to talk to you. And it's, it's just, it's like you've moved into a village and it turns out everyone's nice. So I yeah. guess that's what the maker community is like. Um, yeah. um, and it doesn't depend where we're living at the time as to, to or where we are. That's still true. Yeah. Yeah. The, the miles don't matter. Do they, when it no. comes to the maker community and again, you know, because of social media and the internet and YouTube and things like that, it makes it so accessible for everybody you know globally to make friends and have access to information and help mm. you know 24 7 you know if someone's uh you know uh you know catching a few z's in one time zone you know that you can ask someone on the other side of the world <laughs> that are still up you know that's it it's it's the beauty of it being global and instant mm. it's just amazing beep up beep, 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 beep. So, so, and all thanks to all uh, thanks to the digital part of, of what I do for a living. Uh, I've got to say this. Hi, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah. So that, I guess that's that kind of thing. It's that it's all of a sudden you're part of this community or this village that you know. I mean, where everybody's everyone's everyone's kind of nice and everyone's kind of doing stuff and mm. everyone's quite willing to to talk and, and say hello. And yeah. um, from right at, from from those that are clearly really doing amazing stuff all the way down to the folks that kind of like where I am, which is, you know, I mean, they're really finding their feet and kind of, you know, I'm enjoying this journey that we're on kind of thing. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, all the time, don't we? It's, yeah. it's that common thread that runs through it and that's what brings everybody together. And yeah, um, yeah it is, it is an amazing community. So do you have anything that you particularly love to make? Wow. Let's see this. And if you'd have, we'd have had this conversation before, if we'd have had this conversation in May, I would have said anything in the lathe, hands down, anything in the lathe or anything to do with the home automation in the house. But I've kind of got into to, to doing scroll saw art a little bit, thanks to the Axminster EX21 behind me. Mm -hmm. um, um, and I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. Um, Everything we do on the lathe is so. I, I kind of like to make practical things. I guess that's one of the the kind of drivers. I just kind of think I'm wired away. So you know, make four rice bowls that stack neatly, so they can you can give to someone. Um, um, you know, make lamps, sh lampshades, or plant pots, or, or things that are practical and useful. Is kind of yeah. one of the drivers. Mm -hmm. um, um, but with the uh, with the stuff I've been doing on the scroll saw recently, you know, I did a I did some pictures for some folks. Um, um, and the, the 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 expression and the and the enthusiasm. I mean, everyone loves what we do on the lathe, but you don't quite get the the the. Here was this this nine year old kid. If you'd handed a bowl to it, it would have looked, oh wow, that's you know that's this is this is, oh wow, great kind of thing. Gave a gave them gave her a, a 
uh, gave the gave the kid the a picture of Spider Man, um, mm-hmm. colored and done like the cartoon kind of thing on A three, um, and the expression on that, that 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 little girl's face was awesome. It was just it was just blew you away. It was just um, so for 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 that that sort of moment, you think this has to be part of the making. So I'm quite enjoying quite enjoying this right now, um, mm-hmm. but I'm quite fickle of now. Get my Coronet Herald. Which I got, <laughs> kind of thing, and and it's quite sexy, and you know, I mean, I can hear it calling to me from the other side of the room right now. So, um, yeah, um, yeah there's a, I can see, I can see the scroll saw sitting back for a bit. Um, um, um but yeah, you, good. Yeah. Dip into whatever, exactly whatever right. mood, whatever yeah. mood you're in, you can, mm. you know, oh, I'll do a bit of turning today, and then, mm. you know, because you know, you've got a new machine, you might, yeah. And, inspired and really motivated and fired up to use this new lathe and then you can go but you know uh i really love that little girl's face when i did that scroll mm. by the man and yeah a bit more of that and then you go well, i might do a bit of flat work today and actually i might just do a bit some more you know like you said home automation which sounds really interesting mm. you know that's, the, the that's, home auto stuff is just is just freaky um um, JP's mentioned in the chat kind of thing. The workshop you can talk to and it turns things on and off and you can turn all the lights off and shut the workshop down from the house. If you pulled into my driveway, it would it would identify your number plate and <laughs> uh, and tell me that it was an unknown vehicle in the driveway and this was the number plate and it would message me a picture of your car. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Nicholas' <laughs> uh, background is digital, and Nicholas very techy and geeky. But also, what you're saying there, the home automation, you know that that for someone that's blind, yeah. you know, and uh, you know, yeah. at the very it's basics, awesome. Yeah, the very basics. You know, obviously we have you know Amazon Echo Dots and Alexas mm. and mm. TV mm. and mm-hmm. laptops and things. But you know, it'd be so cool to go to the next level yeah, yeah. obviously we can't mm. afford it in it but you you'd know, be surprised have... you'd, you'd be surprised as to how cheap it is to do there's probably i mean the next time we bump into each other one of the one of the shows or bend your ear for half an hour but it's really cheap to do mm. the whole home automation because i built it myself was only about 400 pounds mm. um um because you you know what to buy you're not just buying the brand you know what to buy yeah, yeah. um but you would you, from, from your perspective chris it would tell you if the doors are locked it would mm. tell you if the lights are on or off. It would tell you if the security alarm's triggered. It monitors mm. the heating. Um, um, it tells me what's still left on in a workshop and all that kind of good stuff. It's just stupid, stupid. It's what happens when you don't have a lathe, right? <laughs> <laughs> Once you've got a lathe, it kind of gets ignored. <laughs> yeah. That was incredible. Yeah, was. yeah. We see that's right up my stream. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's just, it's, it's definitely, definitely, I tell you what, when you're down for the show, get Dave G to bring you guys around. When you're coming down to do the demo, get Dave G to bring you around. Kind of thing, you can have a poke at it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, we're around the corner, we're around the corner, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of 10 minutes or something from Dave's place. Yeah. All right. You know, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. So we're right. We're kind of right on top of you where you guys will be. So yes. So what I like to make right now, it's kind of mostly scroll saw, some lathe. But yeah. really, the core of that is, is is it useful up until, like I said recently? So I guess just to make, I think. But right mm. now, the scroll saw stuff is definitely the Christmas present of order. Mm. Um, um, I've got 40-odd people wanting different cartoon characters cut. I couldn't do it if I was working full-time between now and Christmas. Yeah. So a few people are going to be disappointed, I feel. <laughs> it's a lot, a lot of hard work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. So what's... Where do you want to take your making? Sort of what what are you thinking of doing next? Where do you want to be in twelve months' time? Do you have any ideas of what you want to do? Oh, um definitely improve my tool craft on the lathe. I made a, a kind of having watched Nick Zametti, etc., you wind up buying a pressure pot. And I bought a pressure pot really early and all of this. And the truth is is that all it's done is I've, I've lent it out to more people than anything else because I'm either working or, or and they're great. They're great when your tool craft has reached a certain level. Um, um, but I think I think improving my tool craft on the lathe is somewhere I want to be over the next 12 months, continuing to get better and better. I mean, I, I use carbides and traditional tools, so hashtag traditional carbide, hashtag traditional tools kind of thing. Definitely sitting on the fence on that. Courses mm-hmm. for courses, kind of thing. 
yeah. But I definitely want to continue to improve my, my traditional tools, tool craft. Um, it makes such a difference to the finish. It makes such a difference to the to, to what you can do. Mm -hmm. um, kind of still want to try and stay away more, stay away from resin other than from scroll saw and fill and you know I mean detailing kind of thing. I think. Um, um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, I think improve my improve my tool craft on the lathe would be it. Um, do more mad things with the scroll saw, but mostly lathe work from improving the tool craft. Scroll mm -hmm. saw, I'm getting there. Well, not a JP, J Jamie. Are you listening? We're no one near in the same ballpark as you, mm -hmm. uh, but we're kind of having fun. <laughs> yeah. So, um, does anybody have any questions for Dale? If you do, pop them in the chat. Um, so we, we were talking about you being on YouTube. Mm. Do you want to uh, grow your channel? Do you, do you want to try and develop that? Because, you, you know, with you being sort of a techie as well, um, you know, have you got sort of ideas of things you want to do? So um, what I want to do, yeah, I, so the, the recording and the editing, I think I've kind of got all as automated as I can get. Kind of thing. Right now, there's 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 eight cameras in here. They all kind of buzz around, and you can just you know flick over where you want to be and what you want to look at, and all this kind of good stuff. And you can put it up and all this kind of stuff. And and that's all great. Um, having being bothered to actually film something <laughs> uh, and then cut it into a video, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of. It. I've been I was talking to JP. Quite recently, I've been trying to do a, a, a scroll saw live. It's interesting. Mm. Um, um, he does these sort of things all the time, but I thought I might have a crack at it, kind of thing. So something like that, doing, doing some sort of different live. I saw um, Flaming Turner did one a couple of a couple of a month or so back. I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah. Um, 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 but yeah, so I think growing the channel, make more videos from you know, make more videos. But really, it's those projects that you want to put up. Mm. If that makes sense, you know, you can only you can only turn so many bowl bowls or so many rice bowls. Yeah. Um, yeah. You've then got to get into the you're testing your tool craft out, like making the ones that you know you do, Chris. You know, I mean, that's it's incredible to watch them just emerge as you're working on them. So that kind of stuff. Um, grow the channel is much more of a hobby. So yeah. <laughs> More videos, please, before Christmas, and and, and maybe I maybe I have a crack at a scroll saw live or something. I don't know. Let me just ask you. Uh, I saw a question. None, none stays. No Jaffa cakes are left in the box. They're gone. Oh. They were gone before the live came on. There's none left in the house. That was twenty. <laughs> um. JP said, "Where does Dale get those awesome cakes from?" <laughs> oh, um, so those. So JP said, "So Dave Gunner's. I need to get this one right. Dave Gunner's niece um, runs a cake company. Um, 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 so we had an open workshop here as part of these Surrey Tunnels about four weeks ago, something like that. Four weeks ago. Um, so I ordered some cakes. So Dave G's niece." We ordered some cakes kind of thing and we knew that um i was going down to see jamie um so i ordered a few extra um there the the lady the lady whose name completely escapes me and i'm sorry dave um they're just awesome these are make them get you some when you're when you're down kind of thing just tell them say D dale and jamie says you you have to get us those cakes well, we'll text <laughs> i'm gonna text him I've seen him post pictures. He posts pictures sometimes on his Instagram of cakes mm. um, and in, tags us in. in fact, that's, that's that's the lady. That's the lady. Ask him where he is as well. He's not on the right live on air now, people. Okay. Tell Dave Gunner where are our cakes? Question mark. Your message to Dave Gunner says, "Where are our cakes? Ready to see." <laughs> <laughs> Have you, have you got any other questions you want to ask? Uh, in, 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 in fact, I don't. All right, well, you think. Um, yeah, I probably, yeah, I think Steve, I have. Yeah. Steve Tridell, what would you most like to learn with regards to the lathe and which lathe edition tool tools would you like to get? Um. So the what tool craft I want to perfect is definitely the skew. I want to be to be much more capable than the skew than I am. The skew is one of those tools 
where I tend to shy away from it a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's one of those ones where um, it's one of those ones where things can go wrong real fast with a skew. Um, um, so just spending time and getting much more comfortable and, and learning that, I, I think, is 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 a big deal for me. It's it's I already yeah. use it, but there's a can different. I, sure, go, I, sure. Yeah, sorry, Dale. Just so before, yeah, this might be a text now back from Dave Gunn. But hold on, uh, just while I think on when we was in uh, Axminster on Eton, you were mm. playing. Uh, on the on the TV before I started my demo, we're playing Axminster to YouTube videos, and funnily enough, there was a Colwyn Way YouTube video on. Oh yeah, yeah. And so Colwyn is Axminster's one of well, is uh, yeah. Colwyn and Jason, their master turners. Colwyn yeah. doing a brilliant YouTube, and it's his it's his signature skew chisel. But mm. uh, I was sat there and listening to it. And it is a great guide to using the skew. Really? Video. And I was sat there, and I was, I was, uh, I was having ten minutes out while I had a cup of tea. So, Axminster's YouTube channel, uh, find the Colwyn Way signature skew chisel, and it's a great little video. And I sat there and thought, flipping it, that I've, that has just taught me so much about the skew in that ten minutes. So check that out. You're talking about the skew. Listen to Colwyn Way's little skew chisel video. Uh, and it's it's like oh my god, it doesn't sound scary at all when you hear how you should mm. be doing it. So yes, uh, so check that out, Dale. Sorry to interrupt. No, but... it's no, it's perfect. But it's exactly that. It's exactly. It's one of those things. There, it's just one of those tools where things go wrong real fast, and you can kind of if you if you and 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 spending more time on traditional tools rather than the carbides. There's mm. a definite place for carbides when I think when you're doing resin work or, or plywood work. Mm. Um, but I like the finish I get from 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 traditional tools. Um, um, so just just tool craft reason. In terms of buying tools, oh, I don't know. Probably, probably I don't know. Anytime I walk into Axminster, I definitely walk away with something. But so, know, so it's <laughs> definitely a skew chisel and and Wayne. stuff, stuff, stuff. Yeah. Just buy stuff. <laughs> Wayne the wood turner says, if you have time, he'll do the skew with you. Awesome. Awesome. No worries. Then I'll bring the Jaffa cakes. Um, uh, <laughs> Scott, the blue light turner said, does your club allow visitors when you have demonstrators? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Absolutely when... does. Absolutely yeah. does. Okay. Um, we've got um, um, some good stuff. We've got um, uh, Mr. Farini down on the 19th. Mm -hmm. um, and, and some really awesome, there's a really, really awesome lineup, including yourselves. Obviously, uh, for next year, we've obviously got Wayne and some real, real talent coming down. But so, please come along, come and visit um, East Surrey Wood Turners. Um, we're a very helpful bunch of guys and girls. Um, uh, the tea's great. Um, it's not hard to find, and it's not really in that far into Croydon, so yeah. you're kind of all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was it? The Selston Park. Selston Park Hotel. Mm. They yeah. got. Literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. So, I've had a well, Dave G's in the chat now. All right, hi, Dave. But yeah, I've <laughs> just got your text, and the text says messages three minutes ago. Dave Gunner, was I supposed to be sending you some lol? <laughs> <laughs> Dave, the question was, where did uh, where did where did I get the cakes? Um, um, that we had for the uh, uh, for the open workshop, and that I took down to JP. So where's your where's uh, I, I've forgotten the name. I think it's your is it your niece or your um, niece or a relation that has the cake thing? Um, <laughs> um, I can't remember. I've lost lost her details. <laughs> but uh, the, don't worry, Dave. Uh, you did not promise us any cakes. We were just <laughs> you are now. <laughs> Been on the cake bandwagon when Dale started telling us about it. So no, you, you haven't forgotten our cakes. We were just uh, ribbing you, my friend. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, but we hope you well. And yeah, where's our cakes? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, is it my? He's like, it's like he's adopted daughter. That was the relationship. So yeah. yes. So it's at Labor G on Instagram. L A B R J. 
Okay. They are amazing kind of thing. So I mean, I uh, I mean, I took a box them down to a house full of diabetics, uh, <laughs> which I didn't know <laughs> until I'd taken them down. <laughs> Everyone survived, as far as I can tell. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's cool. Well, anyway, she's in Japan for three weeks. She does postal boxes. Um, Steve Tridell said, "Does your club do creative van visits?" I can certainly ask. Yeah. Um, I can certainly ask. I don't see why not. We've got a, um, the, 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 we're outside a scout hut kind of thing. So, yeah, yeah don't see why not. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. So, have you got any questions? Uh, have I any questions? Uh, yes, if, if you could, if you could, uh, talking about uh, lathes and uh, school mm. stores. Uh, have you got one piece of kit for the workshop that ha you have not yet got, but you aspire to own one day, regardless of cost? So um, in a previous life around kind of 2000, I used to do, uh, I used to, I wrote some software to analyze some routing machines and some um, um, automated drilling machines. Hmm. Um, so these are CNC Okay, so CNC route and CNC uh, uh, work. I suspect I'm trying really hard. Mm. There's a day coming where I build a, build myself a CNC. I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to make it. Um, right. Probably run it. You know, there's a good bunch of videos, but I'll probably make. So the the, but there's a there's a certain cop out to that. I think because although they're awesome and they're great and they do amazing things. Mm. They're kind of stepping back into that digital world where you can poke at it and tweak it and muck around with it, and mm. um, so yeah. So there's so there's a yes and a no. So probably probably that at some point, but I'm going to mm. try and resist turning to the dark side for as long as I possibly can on that one. <laughs> but yeah, definitely that. Um, um, and everything else is just for the sake of it, buying better versions, I guess, of what mm. I got. You know, it's like you know, I could change my chop saw, I could buy a better band saw. I think the coronet's probably it for me, to be fair, with lathes. Mm. Um, um, but yeah, no. So probably that would be a bit. Of, I think, yeah. I think CNC would be where I would wind up. Yeah. But I don't really want to. You know, that's kind of that's kind of where we're at. Mm. Mm. Cool. So um, tell us where we can. Oh no, we've not done. There's the. What do people? Yeah. Don't what know? do pe What does the make community not know about you? Oh, um, there's a loaded question. So I guess everybody knows about I like Jaffa cakes, so it's so probably not that. Yeah. Um, what don't they know? Um, um, I might, I might, I might interpret that question as what might they find interesting or funny? You know what I mean? So my maternal grandfather's Irish. No, that doesn't count. Um, uh, <laughs> um, uh, so I built it. So. Um, um, I don't know. I, 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 I agonized over this question. I really did. I wrote about four answers down. Um, I wanted to tell people I built a car once. I built a K from seven once. I wanted to tell folks about a bunch of things. I, I guess it's. I guess it's. Um, um, I, I reckon I suffer from false laziness. So that's probably why I'm not going to answer this question. It's kind of I like to pretend that the reason I've spent you know four or five weeks doing something is to save those three or four minutes <laughs> you know spend weeks working out how to make it do something so um what does the community know i guess it's that kind of thing i'm more likely to spend four weeks saving you three minutes than, than anything else i guess mm -hmm. that's it and my grandfather my grandfather's irish kind of thing and and yeah. uh, uh i've got a fetish for jaffa cakes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just slightly. Well, so um where can people find you online Oh, um, so it's um, it's YouTube slash Maple Tree Studios. Um, on Instagram, it's Instagram slash Maple Maple Tree Studios. Um, they can track me down on Twitter. Um, um, I think we've got we've got some stuff on Reddit. We've got some stuff on Pinterest too. Pretty much all the same. Hunt for Maple Tree Studios. I guess I guess, yeah. and you'll probably find us. There's no website. Yeah. I feel that's that's something I'm going to avoid like the plague for as long as I can. <laughs> But you know a man that could do one. Yeah. I'm, I'm aware. I, I know a chap. I know a chap. I know, yeah, I mean. yeah. I know a chap. <laughs> it's always good when you know somebody. Is, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, this, there's, this, there's this bloke wearing his hat the wrong way. There's this bloke with a tweed hat. He wears it the wrong way. He can do it. <laughs> yeah. He's a 
really handy mm. having an, a, a geek in the, in the house. Yeah. So. Uh, oh. Well, I don't know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's been absolutely great. It's been really awesome. interesting. It's really great to chat with you guys. I really Thanks so much. You. I really love your energy and your your bubbly attitude. It's you know it's wonderful to hear you uh, talk and be so uh, energetic and enthusiastic about everything. That might just be the sugar rush. Who knows? You know. You're probably right. You're probably right. <laughs> Yeah, it might be the orange, but you know, it's just amazing to hear you just talking. Awesome. Thank you so on. much for for having me on. Thank you so much for putting up with the rubbish I've been talking, kind of thing. It's been oh, great. It's been great. Yeah. It's been really, really interesting chatting with you. Um, as we always say, we sort of carry on and waffle on about what we've done next. You're very welcome to stay with us. Um, I'll, loiter, I'll loiter on the edge if that's okay. Yeah, that's absolutely yeah. fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, it might just be worth muting yourself at your end if that's okay, but chip in whenever you want. Um, that's absolutely fine. But thank you so much for being our guest today on Make Thank, you. thank you so much. Yeah, Thanks for everybody who's in the chat too. Cheers. No. <laughs> having you. Thank you. Thanks, Dale.